Hey guys, in this video, I want to share with you our journey to get better at jumping. In about a month and a half, we were able to go from tabletop jumps like you see here to hitting 10 to 15 foot gap jumps. And we're going to go through all the jump line videos that we rode in order to progress on this journey. Starting out here is our local Black Diamond jump line tabletop trails where we spent hours just jumping the same jumps over and over and over trying to get better at the loading of the bike the standing up to the jumps just feeling comfortable on the pedals as we we're hitting the jumps as we got better we built up to this jump line here where we pretty much bit off one jump at a time as you can see it took me a little while to get used to it but that's what it was all about it was about really sessioning these jump lines in order to get a feel for each one of the jumps that we got caught up on and it took right. two to three times a week Let's in order to come back here and just session these jumps for a few weeks before i was able to ride the whole jump line as you can see it was not necessarily easy and some days went better than others but just keeping at it is really the big thing and trying to learn because your body will start to pick up on just the balance and how things are feeling. <laughs> Finishing up a fun day at Black Diamond Open Space, just practicing jump lines and getting more familiar with what those feel like. It was fun. There's a couple of trails there that are very big actually. So we're gonna come back and we'll show you and we're gonna session some of those trails like that last one that I had trouble with just having line, but feeling tired so if you're feeling that way it's not worth it to push it on especially on jumps or gnarly trails yep fun practice got some good jump practice in drop practice in very typical pacific northwest winter day yeah. here as i was learning i tried to pick off different lines on this jump line to kind of see how things are feeling and you learn different body positions in the air to kind of set up your bike for the next jump when you try different things. So it's cool to do the same thing over and over again, but if you get the chance to try new things that can also unlock certain skills and potential that you didn't even know you had. Possibly one of the coolest things in our jump line journey is that Emily came along with me on this process and is becoming a damn good jumper herself. So cool. The key for me to really unlock this trail was to hit this next jump and it took quite a while because it is a 10 foot ish gap with not much room for air and I had to really set up and get the jump before it. So here's the hip and then this next jump is the key to having enough speed for this one. Now it took quite a while sessioning these lead up jumps in order to feel comfortable to just launch it. Using your phone to video yourself and take a look at what you're doing and then make adjustments can be a huge benefit to you and something that we learned while doing a lot of competitive CrossFit. So give that a shot if you have a friend or a tripod that you can use yourself in order to see what you're looking like when you're trying to get better at your jump line practice. It was this day, which was about three weeks into our mission to get better at these jump lines, that something started to click. And I can even see it in watching this video of myself, how my body positioning started to change. I started to become more aggressive and confident in the positions that I was hitting on the bike while going over the jumps. And you can see here how things are just more aggressive, how I'm just whipping through the turns, popping off of the jumps. And I think this is the real turning point day where I didn't quite get to hitting that big jump that was kind of the crux of the whole jump line. But 
it was where I had the ability and the confidence to do so. Something that was a major help in our improvement on jump line mountain biking was heading to a different trail system, as you can see here. Different jumps, different setups, different gaps. It really helped us to adapt and grow as mountain bikers were jumping their mountain bikes. And these jumps, I remember being there and being very scared at hitting them, but it was also a huge confidence booster when I went down this last part of the jump line and hit all of these gap jumps, especially this last one coming up here. You can see it right here, and I just barely made it, and it was beyond oh, yeah. what my comfort zone was. Project, get on the bike 15 minutes every day and see how much we can improve. Just so happens to be raining out. We're just gonna go right around the yard, practice things like track scans and bunny hopping and manuals and see where it gets us in a month or two. Something that we learned from Joanna Yates, the Joanna Yates principle. Just get on your bike and play 15 minutes a day. See what happens. This is the day that it all came together. A little warm up practice here on the tabletops and then a couple of run-ups to this big crux jump in the middle of the jump line that I've been trying to ride for the last month. I really think it was going to the other trail system and expanding what I thought was possible that really gave me the confidence to give this one a go. So we'll see here that this is the first time that I'm going to actually take a nice aggressive run in at the jump and give it a go. I was possibly more surprised than I should have been that I actually hit it, but just coming into it, I went for it and all went well and then went ahead and hit this next jump afterwards. So that was the start of feeling really confident on these larger jumps. The cool thing about riding these jump lines like this is that once you've conquered something, whether it be a fear or just a skill that you need to learn, there's always something more. So after I got over these middle large crux jumps, then it was about putting together, get together this whole jump line trail and hitting all of the jumps really well. It still took a few more weeks uh, and a lot of practice for me to get it where I felt confident at hitting all of them every single time. All right, got further. Whew. But like I said, you just get to put these things together and then keep on improving. After mastering this jump line, there is another one that's even harder and bigger and longer that I can step oh, yeah. up to and keep going. But the amount of flow and feeling of just pure bliss that you get when riding all of these in the ah. essentially flow state, as you can see here, I still was working on this trail but it is just amazing and really right, opens up what you're able to do on a mountain bike and the mountain bike trails that you're able to hit when you're out and about on, on your own and other trail systems. So I highly recommend just chipping away at it, sticking with it, getting feedback, and just putting in the reps. That's what it is really about, putting in the hard working reps in order to get the improvement to come. And I have a lot nice. more improvement to come. I mean, look at this. I'm not putting any style at all into my jumping. There's way more to come here uh -huh. and there's way bigger <laughs> jumps to jump. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave you with another trip to the 360 jump line trails where everything oh, kind of unlocked for me it. to show you how I can have continued to improve and then continue to push myself and try and jump bigger and bigger jumps. So I hope that you do the same. If you have any questions or comments, that would be rad if you left them down below. And if you thought this was informative or fun for you, please hit that like button and consider subscribing and following us along on our mountain biking and van life journey. Really appreciate you watching. Have a fantastic day.